So I did the combine, did everything at the combine. So I put up some solid numbers there, and uh, you know, just wanted to stick with those numbers. Just focus on um, you know drills for pro, for pro day, uh, getting bigger and stronger. Um, you know, I gained like seven pounds, so felt like I had a pretty good day. Uh, felt drills went pretty smooth. Ethan, what's the what's the process been like for you, good and bad? What's been the best part and some of the not so fun stuff? Uh, you know, I really had a lot of fun with it. I'd say the bad part really is I kind of just want to play ball again. You know, I'm uh, not a part of a team right now. That's probably the worst part of it. Um, so I've just been hanging out up here, you know, my off time with the guys, go to practice a little bit, go to meetings, um, you know, work out every day, six days a week, really. Um, and, uh, you know, just, you know, try to try to be a pro, eat right, and uh, work hard every day. What's your best position, do you think? I think interior. I think guard or center. Um, and then I think, uh, you know, I think I'd be a, you know, emergency tackle. I just need the, the reps at it. Did you want that seven pounds that you had? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You have an ideal weight? Uh, some teams, you know, want me around 310, 315, some at 305. You know, good thing is I can gain lose weight pretty easy. Um, you know, especially now that I got all this free time. You know, I don't have class or anything, so I can eat eat right the whole day. You know, I'm not in a rush, going to class, going to work out. So, uh, you know, I'm really just putting putting everything I got into it. What's what? what? general feedback have you gotten from the teams good and, and bad stuff to work on uh -huh. without being specific who said what uh you know i've uh you know been told you know gotta work my hips into blocks a little more and uh you know work on my punch and uh you know been told you know i can bend well i can play low um you know a lot of teams uh you know like me being six six as a center um you know just because of the length you know it's a passing league, and uh, you know, as long as I can bend, and uh, they like my flexibility. So, Ethan, off the field, I mean, what does it feel like to be able to, um, be able to you know, provide for your family, do this for them after you know, you be drafted? Yeah, uh, you know, definitely. Uh, you know, I gotta, you know, impress my family back home. You know, uh, you know, play for them. They love watching me play. So those are definitely, you know, my people I play for. You got a business line now? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm, if i say I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'll just leave it at that. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to say something I'm not supposed to say. Do you have a number, maybe? Uh, two and then two are coming in. You'll stay here and do the draft and train here? Uh, after my last visit, I'm going to Chicago to see my family. So it's four total teams, two, and you're going to be here. Yeah. And that's where you'll be for the draft in Chicago? Yes, sir. Were you impressed with today's event? And are you impressed by, you know, how many LSU guys are you know, ranked so high if you go in the first round? Definitely. I think I think every year uh, it just gets bigger, pro day. And, uh, you know, now that it's on TV and, um, you know, I think it's just uh, it's the culture at LSU. You know, we put out some good players every year. And uh, it's who we are. Do you see Jamal's first run? Yeah, he shot out the gate. As soon as he as soon as he hit the first ten yards, I knew it was four threes. He was moving. What is that like for y'all when 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 you watch a, a performance like that to, to mm -hmm. see one of your teammates? Oh yeah, you're happy for him, man. You know those are the guys that you know we bleed together, sweat together. Um, you know we all you know we've been through the, the ups and the downs, so uh, you know those are our brothers. Of course, you know, you know we want everyone to do as good as possible. If you play guard, would you like the plays that's going to cause you to have to pull? I can pull, yeah. I pulled a lot my uh, my sophomore year. Um, you know, that's what they used me for the most, really. Uh, pulling, uh, whether it was pin and pull schemes or power. Uh, you know, we, we my sophomore year, we pretty much ran power one way the whole year. And that was just me pulling to the left. What's it, I mean, you know you can play football. What's it like going through this process? Like, as you say, they break everything down your punch, your flexibility, all these yeah. things. Did you ever know there was so much to it before you went through this process, all these little details? You know, I'd say there's so many details with, like, running and sprinting and, you know, each each drill. You know, you change one thing up and you can take a tenth off your time. It's crazy. Um, so, you know, these running things, you know, a lot of it's technique. You know, you, you'd be surprised. I mean, if you're a freak athlete, you're a freak athlete. But you do it with technique, you're even better. 
How hard were you like trying to work out up into the draft? Will it be anything like you have been doing, or you know, as far as your regimen? Yeah. So when I was combine training, we would do about two, sometimes three workouts a day out, and uh, I was at Exos, and uh, you know they were like quick workouts. Now, you know, that was all combine stuff. Now I'm just you know back to football training. So you know, working on my core, squats, bench. Um, you know, normal football lifts. Having yeah. played your college ball in Louisiana, do you allow yourself to think about the possibility of being drafted by a team like the Saints? Yeah, that would be awesome. You know, whoever wants to take me, um, yeah, I'd be more than happy. So, you know, it doesn't matter to me where, when and where, just, you know, as long as I get the opportunity. Do you have any gap heat yet or when? Uh, rain or shine, sleet or snow, I don't care. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, I would. I would love to play for the Saints. Right, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, one more for Ethan. Have you watched any of uh, the spring practice, and what's your take on the new offense that they're going to run? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been watching. Uh, you know, I think I love it. You know, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, you know, if not the best, one of the best. So I think the O line's coming together good. Uh, Brumfield's playing real good. Lloyd Cushenberry is playing real good. KJ Malone's, you know, real good, and uh, you know they just keep getting better every time I see them. That O line together, Maya Tahuma, he's a freak. He's playing real good. So every time I see them, they're better than the day before.